Hi guys, another episode of Wake Up and Get Real. Um, this is Justine Bateman uh, in Los Angeles. And uh, there's a lot of compulsive oversharing online, I think. Um, you know, you can go to blippy.com and put in your credit card information and they will uh, let everyone know what you're buying all the time. Do you know that the government, that law enforcement agencies, they need a subpoena to get at your credit card records? You're making it really easy. And, uh, you know, a lot of us complain about privacy rights being taken away um, by the last administration, by the present administration. What does it matter? And yet, you make so much information legally available online. Uh, where's the balance? <laughs> um, you know, anything that's public can be uh, used in court. I'm not saying you're going to find yourself in court, you know, during the course of your life, but you might. Or you might want to run for office, or you might want to defend a friend, uh, and they might want to make uh, character references of all the people they know, of all the people your friend knows uh, in this. Uh... Anyway, I tend to try and think like a lawyer just in case there's trouble, but uh, that's my feeling about that. And um, there's a venture capitalist named uh, Bijan Sabat, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, um, who uh, has a, uh, an account over at Tumblr, where I follow him. And he had a really good post about um, front door versus back door sharing. Like, obviously, this is front door sharing. I'm, uh, I'm talking to you. I'm sharing, you know, voluntarily. But then there's a lot of back door sharing, like, over at Facebook. Um, they're sharing an awful lot of your private information. Um, and I'm all for everybody, you know, finding a means to, uh, to make money on their sites. But if you have to go over and change your privacy settings all the time so that you're on top of their changes. Um, my friend Stephen Meyer's theory is that uh, we're just all going to get tired of constantly adjusting those privacy changes and uh, just not care anymore. And I hope that doesn't happen because uh, I think everybody needs to have like a, a private life, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, I don't know. And then I wonder, you know, if, what would it take for me to, like, want to share everything online, you know, like everything I'm buying, everywhere I'm going, checking in with Foursquare. I mean, it's just not for me. I know a lot of people enjoy Foursquare. So it's no criticism of them. But, and I think, for me, it would be, like, am I afraid of not being seen? Am I afraid of disappearing? Am I afraid that... Um, if my moves aren't documented or if everyone I know and don't know doesn't know what I did, did it really matter that I did it? Did you follow that? I'm not sure that I did. Um, I don't know. That's all. I hope people aren't afraid of being invisible or something, and that's why they're doing it. Uh, or maybe they just don't want to have to remember things. If everything's documented online, you don't have to remember much. Maybe that's it. Anyway, discuss amongst yourselves. Ciao.